now that you've learned how work's calculated, it's time for you to calculate it yourself. So for this problem, imagine a box is being dragged. And first the box is dragged 10 meters to the east, with 10 newtons of force. And then the person gets really motivated. And they decide to drag it south for 20 meters with 50 newtons of force. But by then they're tired out and a little bit confused. So they drag it back 20 meters to the west for like 5 newtons of force. Try to figure out how much work they've done in total. Okay, so let's see what we have here. It's tempting to think that the work in the east and the work in the west cancel each other, but that's not really the case. They're exerting a force in the same direction as the distance in both examples, so they actually add. It took the same amount of work to do it in both directions. It just didn't really amount to much. So let's start with the 10 newtons times 10 meters. 10 newtons times 10 meters, 100 newton meters. And if you remember, that's 100 joules. A newton meter is a joule. Same goes with 50 newtons and 20 meters. That's going to come out to 1,000 joules. And then 5 newtons times 20 meters is 5 times 20. That's another 100 joules. So let's add all that together. 100 plus 1,000 plus 100 equals 120 joules. So that's the total amount of work that this person did on the box. Now let's take a slightly different example. Imagine someone's pedaling on an exercise bike. So they're pushing the pedals around and around. And exercise bikes, a lot of times, actually have something in it that resists the pedaling. So it takes a force of 5 newtons to make the pedal spin. If you don't exert it, the pedals come to a halt. And we'll say that it's a half meter radius, and then they pedal at 10 revolutions. How much work have they done? So once again, pause the video and try to solve it. Okay, so let's take a look at this one. We know how much force it is, 5 newtons. And since they're always doing the same force in the direction of the spinning, we always just multiply the force by the distance. But what is the distance? Well, let's look what we have. We know the radius, and we know that they're doing 10 revolutions. So as a result, we can say, well, what's the, what's the circumference? If, if 0.5 is the radius, then 1 meter is the diameter. Circumference is pi times the diameter, which means pi meters. And then times 10, 10 revolutions, so 10 pi meters. Multiply by the force being exerted, 5 newtons, 50 pi joules. So they're going to do 50 pi joules, and that's relatively easy to calculate. The trick was remembering that based on the way the pedals spin, they're always pushing in the direction of the turning, and remember that we have to calculate the total distance, which includes the full revolution, and then multiply by the total number of revolutions done. So if you've got that, then you're ready to move on to the next section, or we'll do some more advanced calculations.